Generic greetings and welcome to Air Heart. Today's beverage is a nice cup of green tea. So the other day I was browsing Steam for predominantly diesel punk games because I've been in the mood for that particular setting and I stumbled across this which was on sale at the time so I thought I'd pick it up for a relatively cheap price and essentially it's a twin stick shooter roguelike where you have these floating island masses and you go between the different cloud layers to gather fish which are floating for various reasons uh, and also shoot down pirates, gather upgrades and then obviously go back to your hangar to then craft and basically repeat the cycle and your objective is to get to the top which I've not yet done because I've only played for about an hour or something but either way I've been enjoying the game so I thought I would bring you along for the ride and show you a little bit of the game. Let's go to continue and we head into our hangar here. We're on obviously the lowest layer at the moment and we can see our main character on the left who is called Amelia and I'm guessing because it's called she's called Amelia the game's called Earhart it's a reference to Amelia Earhart and obviously I think that that's uh, where that reference comes from. You can do some crafting and upgrades, but I think the best thing to do is to pretty much just take off and I'll show you the main moment to moment. This is our plane here. You can see the statistics are on the bottom left. So we have an active ability of overdrive, no passive ability yet. We have obviously hard points, mass damage, that sort of thing. And this will change based on the type of thing you put on. So we can change our engine for example to give that one there which is as far as I can tell just a better engine but I'm guessing we'll get different things later on like for example we've got a bolt cannon here which damages two pips but fire rate is only one whereas the machine gun is only damage one but as you can see fire rate is massively increased and we don't have a secondary hard point sadly which for some reason when I change this it uh, removes that weapon on the back which is well I hope that's just a bit of a visual bug because if we don't have a weapon going to battle that would be problematic anyway let's go to launch and we will launch out of the hangar here and this is our first level so there's no combat in this one there's, there's a bar at the bottom there that shows you the estimated fish population so you have to gather fish that are floating as I said because of reasons there is a story that goes along with this and a bit of an intro and stuff I'm not gonna spoil that but yeah it's a bit of a quirky one so we've got these fish so we're gonna go around and gather them and that'll give us some resource at the top there and uh, there's also ones like that you don't really want to uh, go to I'm currently using mouse and keyboard but you can and probably would probably recommend using some uh, um, I'm just going to shoot that black rock because for some reason you get oil out of it. There you go. Uh, yes, you can use a game pad, and I have tried that with a 360 pad. Other controllers are available naturally, but uh, yeah, it seems to work quite well. I, but I do prefer mouse and keyboard, just as a rule. As a rule. Anyway, I'm going to go down here, gather these fish. As you can see, there's nothing to actually shoot. I mean, we can shoot these creatures over on the left there because they don't give us these like jellies. They don't actually give us any uh, positive resources. So we'll gather those, shoot those, and I think. Uh, uh, is there any other shoals of flying fish? There's also some friendlies flying around, as you see there. It's a single-player game, so there's uh, no no uh, co-op or multiplayer or anything like that in here, and <laughs> there's no competitive bit to... Oh, I can't get that fish. And Oh, hang on, missed it, missed it, missed it, and I think it's gone out of the edge. Anyway, I think we'll call that a good job job, and we're going to head up to the next the next island. So we go over to this like jump pad here and it shoots us up to the next level. So we're going to Cherry Blossom Yard 2 and the camera shake has got absolutely no chill on it whatsoever. That is really, really harsh and quite jarring from front. Anyway, uh, on the right hand side you can see we do have this tower here and it is an enemy. We can see that because well A, it would be shooting at us if we got close and B, it's got a red marker around it. So this is where we start to get some hostiles. There's a hostile over there so you can see they are shooting at us. Uh, they don't have, actually have a very decent weapon so I'm just going to go there and gather that and this is give us, ooh, a flamethrower. So this is a temporary weapon that I can use to set fire to the planes and also there's some health there so we're gonna grab onto that and what we're doing is picking up scrap which we can use to uh, upgrade our plane later on. There's also a looks like a box here as well and that's gonna give us oh, a little bit of scrap there and might as well take all these out because well why not and you can see they're now on fire and <laughs> they're gone as well. This is a really powerful weapon. On the top you can see oops I've just crashed into that there. You can crash into these blocks you just take a little bit of damage and then it sort of turns you back around. Uh, yeah that weapon that I had there it was only a temporary one so it does disappear after a certain amount of time. I'm actually shooting that guy by accident. I think if you start shooting up say like there's you get little zeppelins and stuff. I say little, not actually that little. But you get zeppelins around the place. And if you shoot those, you get the police uh, the police planes coming in as well. Anyway, it looks like there's not much else around here. Oh, actually, there's a pirate, a big pirate. So I'm just going to shoot away. 
and see if we can get them uh, hit. You can see I'm accidentally hitting friendlies, which I think there's a, a bit of a grace that's allowed. You can hit them a couple of times before they start to become like really hostile or anything like that. Anyway, we'll go and see if I can find this. I think I might have lost this. Oh, there we go. They're over here now, and that is actually a different one. Oh, there we are. There, so I'm, hit, I'm shooting both of those. I managed to hit the small one and kill it, although I've left some scrap back there. So we'll gather that, and then we'll head back over to this guy, and boom, there we go. So we're going to grab that scrap there. There might be a little one left, so no, it doesn't look like that is the case. Anyway, that was okay. Not too bad at all. So I think we will go to the next level. Our health is good, so we'll go to the next level. I'll just shoot these, and there we go. No, you can see we're slowing down as we're shooting forward. So if I'm shooting backwards, it actually does speed you up, which I think is a, a nice little touch there. So up to the next level, you can see estimated fish population for Cherry Blossom Yard 3 is quite good. And now the music has kicked into a bit of a higher gear there. So grab these fish. So we're trying to, like say, grab the fish and take out all of the enemies, but it's obviously going to get more difficult as we progress on to the different islands. And there's one over on the top here. And, oh, we've been hit a couple of times by them rockers there, which pushed us right back, which is a little bit problematic, but we shall continue on. There's another option we have as well. Oh, there's a, something that's dropped. Uh, some health. That is good, because we do need to heal up there. We've got, hmm, we've got this thing here, which we will shoot. So now it's probably best to shoot behind you and keep running away but it's uh, also quite difficult and looks like I've got some sort of directed energy weapon here which is <laughs> pretty cool as well but there's also a lot of enemies around so I'm gonna start shooting all of those and looks like they're crashing into each other so that didn't uh, that didn't go too well for them there they're actually are over there but I can't I can't actually see them uh, and it looks like they've just actually the friend as well which is in general one uh, we do have one other option that I mentioned and that is to fire uh, our harpoon gun. You always have a harpoon gun and you can fire that to, as you might imagine, harpoon onto things and all I've managed to do is just go completely around there as well. So the harpoon is a right click here uh, in this particular case and it fires this harpoon out and if it grabs onto something, well yes it does actually uh, stick them and you can sort of pull them in and do whatever. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if we can get this guy over here and it shouldn't be too long and oh there's actually I don't know what that was, it looks like to be mechanical parts of, of some kind. So we've managed to clear out the top section here, so we're going to head down to finish the rest of this. And there's another enemy, you can see uh, it's not really flying that well. It's going everywhere but really it wants to go. Let's see if I can harpoon it. Yeah, so I've managed to harpoon it, so we can basically drag it around all we want. And it's basically at our mercy now and I will destroy that and get the resources there. And you can uh, harpoon onto the fish as well and that's sort of thing. Ah, and this is a... a tree here that's glowing and if you go towards it it will kick out some resources or some something like that so we've got that there that's perfect and got a couple more fish and there's also oh there's actually some enemies over here and I'm, I'm firing and i'm managing to hit everything but the enemy so not only are we trying to gather the fish there i'm trying to take out this tower and we'll grab those and that's give us oh, a nice little drop of of scrap here we've actually gathered a fairly decent amount of scrap so I'm quite pleased with that one. Um, I'm just trying to find where this other enemy is. It's not an objective to, whoops, uh, certainly it's not an objective to crash into these things, but it's not an objective to completely clear it, but obviously we need these resources in order to gather up and go further up uh, in the map. And oh, that's finding like a sort of aerial mine type thing, which is not good. Let's see if I can harpoon this guy, which I have. You can see it just stops the plane dead and boom, we take them out there. <laughs> And I managed to not only miss the scrap there, but I also managed to hit right into the rocks. You can also see in the, the background there, that is our previous le levels, so you can see where we've where we've been, where we've come from, that sort of thing. Um, you can grab onto the rock there, and I don't know what reason you would, but you can. And let's just grab onto that guy. And you can see I'm, swing <laughs> I'm spinning this around. I wonder if I can use it as like a almost a mace to go into someone else. You probably could, but... I mean, why would we need to when we've got a machine gun as a most... Ooh, ooh, a lot of problems can be probably resolved with... Ooh, good grief, that's uh, certainly in this uh, setting anyway. He's over there somewhere, he's obviously off the map, but... We'll probably be heading... I think I had a... Yeah, I did hear... I thought I had an explosion. I think there's only so far you can go on the map before it pretty much... Yeah, it automatically turns you around pretty much there. Anyway, so I think we've gathered most of what we need. So I think we'll go to... Oh, actually, there's some... There's fish over here. So we'll grab a couple of fish. And then I think we'll head over to the next island. Actually, we'll harpoon that one because it'll be a bit easier. And there is a... Ooh, some sort of jelly there and grab it perfect and let's oh let's uh, might as well finish this guy off so we'll grab onto him destroy them and oh nice harpoon and health and there we go there's even more so wasn't even intending to take these guys out but i mean 
they are coming right near us. Uh, if we press space, it activates an overdrive, which, to be fair, it doesn't specifically say what overdrive does, so I really have... Uh, is it a bit faster? It, it doesn't feel any fast, but maybe... Well, maybe it is. I'm not too sure. Anyway, uh, there's something in this tree by the look of it. Um, you see there's, like, sparks going around this, so I'm trying to fly through it to see if it does anything, but it doesn't seem to. What if I overdrive through it? Nah, uh, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Anyway, so let's go ahead and go to the next level, and Cherry Blossom Yard 4, and this is full of fish, by all accounts, and also probably full of enemies. That's, uh, oh, it's actually a health pack, so I really don't want that at this stage, because I'm pretty much on full health anywhere. And just gather all these guys up. Using the harpoon gun is really, really powerful. Obviously, you managed to, uh, Managed to grab them. It slows them down. Uh, that's going to stop some. I might as well, might as well heal up because it's going to disappear. And gathering all these fish. Come on. Say gathering them all. Managing to pretty much miss the majority of them. Let's get this big one here. And there we are. Okay. So we'll see where the enemies are. And oh, there's one straight away. So we'll grab onto you and take them out. And we'll do the same thing over here. And good grief. That's a whole, uh, whole squadron of enemies there the pirates to see if I can grapple onto one of them. No, I haven't managed to do that. And there you go. Also the, what they can do is they'll they'll stick around the they'll stick around the sort of jump pad type thing, whatever you want to call it, the launch pad to go to the next level. So you have to take them out before you can before you can use that. You also get bosses as well, like uh, Zeppelins that you have to destroy. We might even see it on this map, but I'll have to see. Nice grapple there, take them out and get them resources. I think this is probably the most resources I've ever gathered in the map, which is pretty good. Let's have a quick look. Ah, oh, so this is like a bit of a bigger base, and what you may notice is it's got like these plates on the side. They're like armor plates, essentially, so I'm shooting, and it's just hitting that armor plate, and eventually uh, it made, I think it eventually it will destroy the plate. I'm just trying to get that one there, which was a good hit. Let's go back and see if I can take that guy out. So standing in front of it is not the way forward, because it's just going to absolutely blast the plane, but I'm also, it doesn't seem to be anywhere doing any damage whatsoever to it, so I don't know whether or not I can take it out now or, or not, and also my gun has ceased to function. There we go, I'm actually using the front of the plane as a ram uh, to destroy, <laughs> destroy it for the most part. There's actually something back here, so I can go past like that, and that is health, that is perfect, that's exactly what we're wanting, although I did lose some health by crashing into everything known to <laughs> the pilots around here. Let's go ahead and see if we can take that out. No, it looks like it's totally armed. So, oh no, actually, you can see health is below it, so it is taking the damage. It's just really, really difficult to, really, really difficult to destroy, but it's about to get destroyed, and there it goes. We have managed to destroy it, and we've gained, I think, a bit of mechan uh, a mechanical part or something. So, that's okay. Let's head down to the south here. There's another the turret. The turrets, as you can see, are not really that much of a problem. It's quite easy to destroy, and it looks to be that there, I believe, I think I just saw the edge of one of the one of the zeppelins that are hostile. So let's see if we can take out the the air group around it first, because we don't want to be fighting those. And there we go. That's good hits, good hits. More good hits. That's that destroyed. Good grapple. That's gone. Good ram. <laughs> and uh, there we go. It's a bit of a spray and pray operation here, but we have managed to take them out. And uh, there's no opportunity for beverages, I've noticed, which is a bit of a shame, but I think we'll... One of the best shots I've taken in the game, and it wasn't even a target I wanted to destroy. Okay, so this is... Oh, that's where we... Ah, there we go. There's the, there's the uh, pirate there. So this has got a bit of a really weird slow-mo there. So this is an enemy that we have to destroy, but by the look of it, I am taking a serious amount of damage because of the sheer amount of things around here, and I don't think I can survive in this environment much longer. There is a friendly round here, which is good, but I'm just getting rammed constantly, which is not good. So let's see if I can take this guy out and get some distance between me, although I'm trying to gather this scrap, and it is recommending that we head out now, and I actually agree. So I'm going to hold R, and what you do is return home, son. We now basically do a uh, all sort of <laughs> just, to, just basically go drop and as fast as possible, and what we're aiming for is this pad here, but we have to dodge out the way of the islands there, and sadly it was occluded at times by the things that were missing, but we managed to get there. So there's the resource that we got. Hmm. 
So we managed to get uh, some scraps, some gunpowder, some pipes, some mechanic stuff, and none of this other stuff, which I'm guessing you get on higher islands. We've got 31 pipe fish, 20 flying parrots, and one damsel fish. And you can see the uh, the total the total oil that we got from that and we'll click continue and that is us back here so we'll go to our hangar and I'm trying to get I would like to get a secondary weapon or maybe even a better chassis but we'll see in terms of uh, resources uh, that we need to spend it's obviously money here but I think we can get what can we get that's a fish radar ability but I, and slow down gas one weapon what about this guy here? That's a uh, dragonfly wings with one weapon. That one there says two weapons. You can see the 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 chain, the design of it all changes. So it's very much reminds me of Crimson Skiesy type thing, which is you know probably where my interest in diesel punk started from. Certainly the first time I experienced that sort of thing. Mm, what do we want? Fish radar, slow down gas. One weapon for the wings. Uh, agility is two pips. If we have a look at our hangar, our current agility is ah, it's actually two, three pips. So that would that would be not good. But I don't know if that would give us another weapon slot. I think it might. There's only one way to find out. It's not an expensive mistake to make. So we're gonna go for this part here. So we'll buy that one and oh, continue hangar, and we'll go and put on the different wings. And that is absolutely <laughs> that is very very franken plain isn't it really and yeah we can't have a secondary weapon either which is a shame okay i'm gonna go back to it says that there it says skyhawk but that's not that's not the weapon so all that does is make it a bit slower maybe maybe connected with other systems it would give us a decent build but that is probably not what we want to go for and we're going to go over to our workbench here and this is something that I'm not particularly fond of the way you oh we've got ammo cases here the way we build stuff is essentially you've got stuff on the bottom here to giving this is giving us like a, a rough overview of the sort of things we can make with the resources that we have but the only way to figure it out is to basically use trial and error so if I go one two three metal scrap and say craft I know we're going to get a box and that is actually shown in our inventions here so these are all the ones that we've managed to find these are the ones that we've um we've bought so we can actually sell that wing back if we really wanted to um but you can't I don't think you can craft that actually can you craft it let's sell that there and no you cannot get it back shame anyway but this stuff like the machine gun I can if I wanted to I can buy uh, sorry um, I can craft it again if uh, if need be and stuff and it shows you the crafting parts that are required there but there you are and then ideas so for example I'm gonna go to one two three like that and say craft what will happen is it will say crafting failed but at the bottom it shows you the order in which you need to build things so for example this thing here whatever it is we know that the middle one was correct so we know a pipe was correct there so I'm gonna try and make whatever this is so we'll go for we'll get rid of these sadly you can't remove them from these slots you have to remove them like so I'm going to go say scrap metal, pipe, scrap metal, and then craft. And we have created, oh yeah, a metal foil. So there we go. And then it'll obviously update this to do other things. So there's this thing on the left-hand side, and I really don't know what it is. Let's just put, say, all pipes in. So a total of five pipes. And we know that the first two were correct. So that's actually good. So we'll move those two. Say put two gunpowder in. Go to craft. So two three are correct and then the other two wrong and wrong so we'll get rid of the gunpowder we'll put in scrap and long barrel we managed to make a long barrel and if we go to mechanisms we've got our long barrels there ammo cases there and then obviously we can also say right if i put say one two of these metal boxes in and foil together craft will that be anything at all nothing but I know if we put three metal boxes together we get one of these uh, heavy casings now luckily as I said even though I'm not a fan of this weird way of crafting I don't think it adds necessarily to the game um, but you can go on the workshop and there's a list there of the things you can craft I mean it might appeal to some but I would rather just say look this is what you can make with the resource that you've got yeah, that's uh, the way I would prefer it. Either way, it's not a massive problem because you don't spend most of your time there. Most of your time will be spent, as said, when you're flying your plane. But that is basically it. That is basically the game. You will go, as I said, to gather resources, shoot the enemies. You'll uh, experience um, different fights and that sort of thing. I didn't 
attempt to destroy that zeppelin because I was far too damaged. I will need a much, much, much better plane in order to to take those out. This is the I don't know which mode I've put this on, but there's there's a couple of modes you can play. There is one essentially a permadeath one that if your plane is destroyed, that is it. You have to start from scratch. Uh, you lose all of the stuff that you had, which is very very harsh indeed. But I've got it on um, the one where you keep that, so we can. We will lose the resources that we uh, had gathered on that run, but it means that I'll be able to at least get back home and uh, sort that one out there and, you know, at least uh, start building it back up from there. So it can be quite harsh if uh, you want to go for that setting, but I decided to make it a little bit more of a chill experience there. Either way, that is a little bit, just a little bit of air heart. Looks like this is like a pretty much a, a dead set. You shoot that uh, rock there, the uh, big black obsidian, and you get all of the oil out. But yeah, that's a little bit of air heart. I think it's just one of those little quirky games that, um, you know, you, sometimes you just discover them out of randomness, which is exactly what happened. I uh, I know a lot of, well, I say I know a lot of diesel punk games. There's not a lot of diesel punk games, but I know um, a fair number of them. There's a lot more steampunk games than diesel punk, but this one totally eluded me. I didn't even know it existed until like I said I had a, a quick look. But there you are. If you like what you see and want to check it out yourself, then by all means, check the link out in the description, as always. We'll be having the other video. And thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic pardons.